The Twist and Stepper Step Machine is a great way to increase cardiovascular fitness and work your entire body. By using dumbbells, you can get a great upper body workout as you step. In this first workout, we'll be completing six upper body exercises with one minute of each exercise. To perform your first exercise, step with arm swing. Take full steps in a smooth manner, focusing on balance and control. Keep your feet flat on the foot pedals and hips and knees slightly flexed. Once you've gained your balance, swing your dumbbells just like a regular arm swing, emphasizing a full range of motion. Focus on moving your arms forward and back rather than side to side. It's important during this motion to remember to keep your chest up and shoulders back with a strong and straight neutral spine position. No hunching. You should feel this exercise particularly in your shoulders, core, and back. To perform step with alternating rows, first hinge at the hip to lower your upper body to approximately a 45 degree angle to the ground. Keep your spine in a strong neutral position by tightening your core. Draw your shoulders up and back to emphasize a straight back. Take a moment to gain your balance and get a firm, solid footing before beginning the rows. Once you're ready, alternate between rowing your right and left arms. Focus on pulling and pushing your arms forward and back rather than side to side. Your line of movement should nearly mimic punching the ground. But rather than pushing your force into a punch, focus on the force of your movement into picking up the dumbbell and drawing it behind you and then slowly lower the dumbbell back towards the ground. If you're performing this movement correctly, you should feel the burn in your latissimus dorsi and rhomboids, basically targeting key muscles in your back. To transition into the step with press, bring your upper body back into that original standard stepping position with knees and hips just slightly flexed and your upper body upright. Start by bringing both of your dumbbells just right above your shoulders. In slow, controlled movements, press both dumbbells straight overhead before slowly returning to just right above the shoulders. If you're performing this exercise correctly, you should really feel the burn in your shoulders, upper chest, and triceps. Begin alternating curls, continue with your full step and bring both dumbbells down to your side. With slow, controlled movements, alternate between curling your right and left arms. The only part of your arm that should be moving during alternating curls is your lower arm. To execute the curl, flex at your elbow and contract your upper arms to lift the dumbbell all the way up to your shoulder. Lower the dumbbell back to your side with slow and controlled movements. Pace yourself with each step you take on the stepper. If needed, slow down your stepping pace to match your curling pace. If you're performing this correctly, you should feel your biceps and surrounding muscles in your upper arms working. Step with shoulder raise. Continue with your full step. Heels flat on those pedals with a nice slight bend at the knee and hip. Bring both arms down to your side with your shoulders up and back and your back in a strong, straight, neutral position. Once you're in the proper position, alternate raising one arm all the way up to shoulder level and slowly lower back down. Focus on keeping that arm straight. If you can't lift the dumbbell all the way up to shoulder level while maintaining good form, just lift it as high as you can. Continue this motion, alternating between lifting your right and left arms. If you're performing this movement correctly, you should feel it primarily in your shoulder, but your serratus anterior, upper trap, and rotator cuff muscles also help get the job done. For 
this next movement, tricep extensions, stop stepping and find a firm, balanced position on your stepper. When you're ready, lower your upper body. It should be at about a 45 angle to the ground. Bend your elbows to hold the dumbbells right next to your chest. Extend the elbows to straighten your arms and reach straight back behind your body. You should feel this movement in your triceps. seconds left you're doing awesome this is our last exercise so really give it your all ten seconds and three two one Great work! You've completed your first round of the workout. Take a 30 second rest. Catch your breath and feel free to grab a drink of water if needed. If you need to take a longer rest, feel free to extend your rest period and continue when you feel comfortable. If you're feeling up for the challenge, repeat this circuit two more times for a full workout. <laughs> 